Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video that if you are using the Brave web browser for desktop, that Brave recently has rolled out a update, which is their first point release update for this year, 2023. And they made this available late on the 6th of January in my region. So if you haven't noticed yet, just head up to your menu in the top right, click on about Brave, and this process will force and update your browser to the latest build. Now, after this update has been applied, the version is now on 1.46.153. It's just a point release, 0.153. And the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on, stays exactly the same as it was prior to this update. Now, um, this is basically a maintenance update and is a minor update. And if you are interested, and um, once again, Brave has rolled out another update for the wallet, which they seem to do in most of their recent updates to the browser. And this is actually a removal where they have removed wire for buying crypto in the Brave wallet. So if you are interested, that's a removal. And then if you are using uh, Brave News, um, which can be enabled on the new tab page by heading to your customized dashboard, clicking on Brave News and in just enabling the feature in that menu. Um, if we head now to the settings menu and um, we click on appearance, uh, Brave has added a new setting where they have, have enabled Brave News subscribe button by default. So show Brave News button in address bar. And up until this update, this was hidden behind an experimental flag. And now Brave has actually removed that experimental flag and has now added the actual uh, setting to the appearance page for the new tab page. So if you are using Brave News and you uh, click on a news article, you will see now in the top right of your address bar, there will be a little news um, icon appearing between the shields and the actual uh, Brave Rewards um, icon in the top right of the address bar. And if you click on that little icon, you will then have the option to manage your Brave News feed. And also you will have the option to subscribe to uh, uh, different news feeds that you are clicking on. So as mentioned, that now is a default feature where previously it was hidden behind an experimental flag. And you can obviously have the option now because it is an official default setting. You can now uh, toggle that setting off if you don't require that. So yeah, they have enabled Brave News now by, uh, by default where you can actually now use that button to subscribe to a news feed. And that's more or less it. Um, that's what has rolled out for this first point release of 2023. And over and above that, there are no security updates or any major new features, just one removal for the wallet. And then that, that setting now available in the appearance page and on the appearance page for the Brave News subscribe button. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.